What is up guys? So today we are going to be talking a little bit about adding SSL to your uh, website that is hosted on GitHub. Now I made this video in the past and that was done uh, a completely different way. You had to use a third party, you had to go through something like Cloudflare uh, and add it, which was also free. So I mean, you can go check out that video as well if you want. But uh, GitHub had just announced, I think a couple of days ago, maybe, th maybe three days ago by now, that they are actually... Uh, allowing you to add SSL to a custom domain within GitHub. So that is awesome. I'm super excited about this. And uh, there was one of you guys actually brought this to my attention. And I believe your name was Ryan. So I would like to thank you, Ryan, for bringing this to my attention so I could create a quick little video here. Um, now, there's not that much that we have to do to configure this to get it up and running and working. So let's just go ahead and let's jump on the screen right over here and just get it running real quick. All right. So I have gone ahead and I've got a folder right here. You can see it's just got a simple HTML document inside of it and it just says hello world. And you can see right here, I just pulled it up in the browser as well. Um, and then I've got two other windows open. I have my GitHub repository. I had pushed this to this repository right here. And I also have my Google domains right here. So I can go in and let's see which one, we're gonna modify this one, all right? Um, so to get started here, there's not too much that we need to do like I had already said. So let's go over to the GitHub uh, repository and click on settings. Um, and we're going to scroll all the way down and we're going to first we're going to set up this uh, the GH pages. So we need to select the source. Uh, we need to set it to master branch and hit save. And so what this is going to do right now is it's going to go through and it's going to build your site and get it. Uh, so that you can view it on this link right here. Now this can take some time. I don't know if it's ready already or not. See, it's not ready yet. So it can take a little bit of time for your website to actually appear on this URL, but um, I'm just gonna skip ahead in the video to the point when this finishes and we will pick up from there. Okay, so I just refreshed the page and it finally uh, is working now. So it took about an hour. I had to wait for that to actually kick in so that I could reach it on this URL. And I'll pull it up again. You'll see right there. That's the, uh, the URL and this is the local file. All right, so the next thing that we need to go ahead and do is we want to add what our custom domain is going to be into the repository settings. So down here, we know our custom do domain is going to be mbxzrn.com. So we're going to click on that, hit save. Um, all right. Now that we hit save, it's going to uh, start looking for that domain. Uh, but currently, we haven't set up the IP address to point to GitHub. So when you type this domain in, it doesn't really know to look to GitHub yet. And so that's what we have to do now. Um, so over in uh, the Google domains, that's what I'm using. Um, uh, in our DNS settings, we can leave the cloud servers, uh, well, the cloud, the name servers, sorry. We can leave those the same. Um, we don't need to change those, but we do want to add some A records. So we are gonna go ahead and we are gonna add four A records. So let's just go ahead and we're gonna start typing these in. So it's gonna be 185.199.108.153. All right, so that's the first one. Then the next one we have is 185.199.109. And then 153. Uh, and then we're just gonna have one more where it's uh, 185, uh, 199, 110, 153. And then the last one, you probably already figured it out. This is just gonna be 111 right here. All right, I'm gonna set this to one minute for time to live. Uh, and let's go ahead and click add. Now, you're gonna have to wait most likely a little bit let's just go see if this is already accessible here all right so it's giving me an issue here so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna remove this and save it and then i'm gonna add it back and see if that's gonna work now let's see 
All right, so I've just gone ahead and I removed it, saved it, added it back, saved it again, and we got all of this working right here. I gave it a minute, and now when you click on this, you'll see you can reach this uh, right away. Um, so the last thing you have to do to enable uh, the SSL certificate here is come down here where it says enforce HTTPS and check the box. That's, that's really it. Um, if it gives you any issues that says something like, uh, it can't be done right now. It's generating the certificate. Just wait. Um, if it says something like there's something wrong with your DNS configuration, uh, try removing that again and then adding your custom domain back. And that might work. That's worked for me in the past, but this this one seemed to be pretty flawless. We just had to wait for it a little bit. So super simple. Uh, all you need to do is you need to go in, you need to add your custom domain, set the A records with the appropriate IP addresses, and I will put them down below. And then the only other thing you need to do is uh, check the box. That's it. Honestly, it's much easier than doing it with Cloudflare. So let me know if you guys like this video and if it helps you, give it a thumbs up. If you like the content that I'm creating on this channel, head on over to my Patreon account at patreon.com forward slash Zachary R. Newton, where you can help support this channel and help me create better videos every week. Until then, I'll see y'all in the next one.